welcome back to the channel. On this video, as you can see, we've had quite the storm here. And I'm going to attempt to ride in this mess. It was supposed to be, it was a winter storm with a wintry mix, but I'd say we got almost all ice. There's a little bit of snow mixed in, but if you see down here, this is just one solid thick ice on top of the snow, if there is any snow, I guess a little bit, but so I'm going to attempt to uh, go for a ride on this and see how we go. Let me hop on here, I'm on the clear graffiti. We're spinning our wheels here to get started. And we're obviously not going to ride very fast. So, we're not the only ones to be getting this kind of weather lately. Everybody, it seems, in the country almost is dealing with some kind of a situation. But. I'm recording this video on Sunday morning, just after 8 o'clock in the morning. And I can tell you one thing, the hardest part about this riding in it is the car tracks. I'd rather ride on fresh ice or snow than those tracks because they make it more difficult and harder to ride in. This is, this is really bad stuff out here though, I gotta say. You would not want to ride more than 10 miles per hour or so. And, <clears throat> you know, if you think about this, I'm on a road where there's actually, as you can see, no cars this morning. So it's a good time to get out. That's why I want to get out here right now. Uh, and do a ride before we get any traffic or anything going. Because I think, uh, I'm going to turn it up here. No, I think I'll go straight, actually. Uh, I think as I slide around a little bit here, get back into my spire, I was thinking about turning there. I think, um, I think as long as you're careful, and with me with the fat tires, I feel a lot more comfortable riding with fat tires than I would with a more of a regular tired bike. Like say, I'm saying regular tires, say you have two inch tires. I feel better riding a bike with four inch fat tires than two inch tires. But uh, if there's traffic on the road at all, whether you're on a side road that's busy or more of a main road, which would be worse because it's obviously going to have more traffic. That's where it could get really tricky because you don't know if a car is going to slide off and hit you. You don't know if you're going to slide and slide into the traffic. So that, that, would be the scary part for riding in this to me is not how you control your bike but it's how they're controlling their car and uh, you know what you're going to come upon I wanted to mention to the temperature right now so we're sitting at uh, 16 degrees as I come out from this ride this morning and the wind is making it feel like 4 so if we translate that to metric, well, I didn't want to go up this way, but I'm going to now that I did it. Uh, so we convert that into metric. We're about nine Celsius the temperature, and with the wind, it feels like minus 16 out here. We have a north wind of nine miles per hour at the moment. 
or 15 kilometers. So nothing like yesterday. So uh, a little bare spot, wow. So I actually rode to work and back yesterday I was working and in the morning it was fine. It was windy and cold, but nothing really, very little precipitation at that time, which was just after five in the morning. But when I came home, which was about two o'clock in the afternoon, it was a nasty out. And I actually recorded a video, or thought I did, and when I went to check my camera, there was only like a two second or three second video there, only a piece. So I don't know what happened, so we're trying it again today because I wanted to get out in this mess and see how we, we do and it. Actually, we're doing pretty fine, as long as we don't ride overly quick. And I left a few minutes early to go into work, and I'm only a mile away, so it's not really far. And I left a few minutes early just in case the weather was bad when I went. And, uh, but I was able to navigate just fine uh, coming home yesterday and uh, I kind of wish that recording would have worked out. You would have got to see it, but you're seeing it today. The big difference with today, I don't know why I'm going to stop here because there's nobody around, but um, the difference, the big difference today over yesterday is besides it's not doing anything at the moment precipitation-wise was the wind. That was one nasty wind yesterday. We were having um, the ice that was coming down or sleet, it was sleet, was blowing. And when that hit your face, uh, you could feel it. Because like right now I have glasses on, but I don't have any, at the moment I don't have anything protecting my, my cheeks. But I don't feel too bad. I don't feel, um, feel it as much as I did yesterday. That was some kind of nasty. But, uh, here in uh, this part of the world, unless you're on a main highway, and even then you're lucky, I guess, um, you may not see a snowplow, and uh, that's just the way it is, and they don't sand or do nothing, as you can see, I'm riding right on now. Uh, A oh, little bear patch again. I'm just riding right on whatever's come down and is on the road. That's what I'm getting here. There's a car up ahead. And it looks like a fire truck up ahead. Is that a fire truck? Looks like a fire truck, yep. I wonder what's going on there. A stop sign. Let's stop just for fun. The bike actually does pretty well. In this, uh, let's see, nobody coming, and let's carry on. Whoa! <laughs> I, I was lifted up off the bike, and so I gave it a little juice there, and we just we're spinning. But now we're going because I wasn't sitting down to no weight on the back end. Mm -hmm. It can't be too serious, they don't have their lights going. I got the Trucks chained up. I suspect it's a medical emergency. And 
I could check the scanner and see, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. Here's a pretty cool scanner you can get for your phone or computer. Um, and it's called Broadcastify and it's pretty cool. I'd probably find out the situation that's going on there, but it's all good. And this stuff is really packed on the road. Packed down pretty good. We're able to navigate through without a problem other than once in a while I'll hit a little rut that throws me a little bit the back end but really it's not a problem just as long as you don't go I wouldn't want to go too fast so if you do slide or go down you're not going to be hurting yourself because you're going too slow to have anything happen I've got my helmet on and I feel safe. So at the beginning of this storm, I guess we, we did have a little bit of snow first. And then the ice came. So that might be helping here in getting some traction. Um, but before the snow, we had rain. And then that probably throws over this. So you got that underneath. So you got a bit of everything going on here. If you want to comment in the comments below on this video, go ahead and leave a comment. And if you think I'm crazy, Go ahead and write that. I just wanted to do a little demonstration that it can be done if you're careful. You can ride. I know some people uh, put chains on their tires. You can even get studded tires for your bike. But you know it happens so infrequently here that you wouldn't use them very very much, maybe once or twice or three times a year and that's it. So is it really worth it? Now in a few days they're talking about one more round coming. So we'll see what happens if that comes true. And after that we're warming back up. that's going to do it for my icy ride if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you would like to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button and join me join the channel with all the others who have subscribed and are supporting the channel. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. Once again, thank you for joining me on this wintry ride. And until next time. See ya.